Someone among us understanding what I'm talking about. Can we give a crap unto Jesus? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This woman, she shut herself in the house together with her son. And they filled the jars one by one. Praise be to God. One by one. With what? With the little oil that she had. And I remember there before the servant of God and posed a question to her. She had asked the woman, What do you have in your heart? Hallelujah. My sister, my brother, you must have things, you must have something in your hands from God to perform a miracle in your life. You are not empty. You are not empty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You must have something. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have some strength in you. At least you can move and go around and propagate the gospel. You have some little oil with you. You have some little anointing that you have. That you have some little anointing that you have. That you have some little anointing that you have. Hallelujah. What do you have? Praise the Lord. Every problem that we have is God's golden opportunity to perform a miracle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Do you feel like you are fixed in a certain corner? Do you feel like you have come to the end of yourself? Do you feel like you know because you have been rent off from your job that you cannot exist any longer? And speaking to someone, maybe you have moved from the better house that you had and you have gone to another one that is so much confused you don't know what to do. I thank God that you are not sleeping on the street. At least you have something. Ah. Dio. Praise be to God. What am I trying to explain? You have something that you can hold on. And thank God. I have this. God. Appear for my case. Hallelujah. The woman told the servant of God. I have nothing else left. Apart from a jar of little oil. There is something that is left in you. There is some little faith. There is some little oil. There is some little strength. There is a little gift. That God has put in you. And you can stir up your miracle from that. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the woman filled the jar. One by one. And now. When she asked for the next. Same and next. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When she asked for the next, she was torn by his sons. They are finished. And what happened? Let us run together. When there was no jar left, the empty jar, then the oil stopped. Na mafuta yakakoma. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Bwana sifiwe sana. Bwana sifiwe. I want to challenge somebody today. Nataka kutia mtu changamoto leo. The little oil that you have. Ya kwamba ile mafuta kidogo ambayo uko nayo. Keep on pouring. Endelea kutiririka. Keep on pouring. Endelea kumwaga. Keep on interceding. Endelea kuomba. Keep on praying. Endelea kuomba. And as much as you are pouring. Na kama vile unavyozidi kumwaga. As much as you are pouring. Na kama vile unavyozidi kumwaga. The oil will not cease to flow. Hiyo mafuta haitakoma kutiririka. The oil will not cease to flow. Hiyo mafuta haitakoma. But the moment you stop. Lakini wakati ule utawacha 
Your miracle comes to an end. Mujiza wako unafika kikomo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. What kind of a gift that God deposited in you? Ni kipawa gani ambacho Mungu ameweka ndani yako? Just no gift. Sio kipawa kidogo. Keep on exploiting it for God. Endelea kuitumikia kwa Mungu. Keep on using it for God. Endelea kuiachilia mbele ya Mungu. And as much as I use you are using it. Na kama vile ambavyo unaitumia. Your miracles are evident. Mujiza yako inaonekana. You are you know You are, you are, you are, you are miracles miujiza yako are sure imehakikishwa hallelujah hallelujah you are telling me unaniambia pastor mchungaji during this time of corona hii wakati wa corona how can you tell me to exercise my gift of uh, uh, of giving unaweza aje niambie nifanyishe kipawa changu cha kupeana kazi as you are continuing to pour kama vile ambavyo unaendelea kumwaga hiyo prosper Utanof, utanof. In the name of the Lord. Katika jina la Yesu. It is the word of God. Neno la Bwana. And the word of God. Na neno la Bwana. Is unlimited. Ali, ali the word of God. Neno la Bwana. Is uncompromised. Haina mipaka. The word of God. Neno la Bwana. It is his word. Ni neno la. And the word of God. Neno la Bwana. It is his word. Linaishi. Ni yeye. Ni yeye mwenyewe. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe. The Bible tells me. Biblia inaniambia. In the book of John chapter fa, chapter 1 verse 1. Katika kitabu cha Yohana tano moja. The was the word. Mwanzoni kulikuwa na neno. And the word was with God. Na neno lilikuwa na Mungu. And the word was God. Na neno lilikuwa so, Mungu. So God and his one are one. Kwa sababu na kwa hivyo Mungu na neno lake ni kitu moja. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. I know and I want to believe na nataka kuamini that you are something ya kwamba uko na kitu that no one can take it away from you ambacho hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza kukunyanya haleluya this little earth this woman had ni mafuta kidogo ambayo mwanamke alikuwa nayo no one could have taken it away from hakuna her hakuna mtu ambaye angemnyanganya haleluya haleluya bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe but it was a point of a miracle lakini ilikuwa ni mahali pa muujiza so precious to her ilikuwa ni ya maana sana haleluya haleluya so this cover you are to oil kwa hivyo tambua mafuta yako ile kidogo leo and start pouring na uanze kumwaga because she poured the little oil kwa sababu alimwaga hayo mafuta into the jar to release the increase kwa sababu ambavyo vilikuwa vitupu ili viongezeke vijaye have you have you caught that je umepata hiyo have you understood that je umeelewa hiyo neno she did this way alifanya hivi she continued to pour aliendelea kumwaga to release a hini chris kwa ili iongezeke haleluya haleluya she had a small she had a small bottle alikuwa na chupa ndogo and she was pouring in big drums na alikuwa anamwaga katika vyombo vikubwa try to picture it in your mind ebu jaribu kufikiria make that picture in your mind fikiria katika akili zako my sister my brother ndugu yangu na dada yangu it doesn't matter haijalishi how big the challenge is ya kwamba hiyo changamoto ni kubwa kwa sababu as you have little faith in god kama vile tu ambavyo kuna imani kidogo ndani ya mungu it will work for your miracle itakufanyia kazi it will work for your success itakutendea it will work for your breakthrough itakutendea don't despise the and the written beginnings mungu angalie ile mambo that is what job says hiyo ndio ayubu anasema job 8 verse 7 ayubu 8:7 do not despise the written beginnings kwa sababu usidharau mwanzo mdogo because in due time kwa sababu kwa wakati wake it will be one itakuwa kubwa itaongezeka haleluya bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe you have started a small business mama umeanza biashara ndogo mama after they have declared that there is no job for you again baada ya kutangaziwa ya kwamba hakuna kazi those who are in those 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 who are those who are in the line of employment you know wale ambao walikuwa wamele wameandikwa surely this time of corona hii wakati wa corona many have been left in disappointed watu wengi wameachwa wakiwa but i want to encourage somebody lakini nataka kutia mtu mmoja who is watching me and whoever is in here ambaye ananitazama na yote ambaye yako hapa or is not lost ya kwamba haijapotea or 
does not rot. We have a God who is sitting on the throne of mercy. He knows you by your name. Go by faith to him. As this woman went to the servant of God. And she cried unto him. And the servant of God had a solution for this mama. God has a solution for you. God has a way out for you. Mungu akona njia kwa ajili yako. Asa miracle for you. Mungu akona muujiza wako. Or is not lost. Yote haijapotea. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe. We have crossed that door mama. Funga. We have crossed that door. Gentlemen. Wamekufungia hiyo mlango. Is opening. Bwana Mungu anafungua mlango mwingine. The name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Do not throw away your confidence. Usitupe ile do not throw away your faith in him. Usitupe imani yako kwake. It's going to work for you. Itakuwa vyema kwa ajili yako. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you something. Nataka nikwambie jambo. When she was given instructions by Elisha, wakati alipewa maelezo na Elisha, to borrow the vessels, aende akaumbe vyombo, she was told, aliambiwa, must be empty. Lazima viwe vitupu. Must be empty. Lazima viwe vitupu. For you to receive, ili wewe upoke, must have an empty vessel. Lazima uwe na chombo kitupu. For you, ili wewe. For you, ili wewe. To give birth to your miracle, upoke mujiza wako. You must empty yourself lazima ujiachilie utupu for the working of god kwa sababu ya utendakazi wa mungu in your life katika maisha yako in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe hallelujah hallelujah empty vessels viombo vitupu empty vessels viombo vitupu as per the instructions kama vile alivyoelezwa she governed them alivikusanya she brought them into the house na akavileta chumba ni mwake she filled them with the rich oil na akavijaza na ile mafuta kidogo that's surprising enough lakini cha kushangaza surprising enough cha kushangaza the oil the mafuta continue to flow iliendelea kutiririka as, as long as kama vile there was a name to face kulikuwa na chombo kitupu hallelujah hallelujah bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe when we come to god tunapokuja mbele ya mungu how do we come je tunakuja vipi when we come to god tunapokuja mbele ya mungu we have a week and we come Oh, je tunakuja tukiwa tumejaa of our own things na tumejaa na mambo yetu Full tunakuja tukiwa tumejaa of grumbling na kunungunika Full tukiwa tumejaa of discouragement that we cannot release na kushushika ambayo wewe unachilia tukiwa tumejaa anger and resentment tukiwa tumejaa hasira because of the things that have happened to us When we come to God, empty yourself first. Come for the infilling. Come for your miracle. Come for the pouring of the Holy Spirit. Come for your restoration. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is something I want you to note. Kuna kitu ambacho ninataka uelewe. In the in the same line that you have learned. Hapo hapo ambapo tumesoma. Fast 6 and part 6. Mstari wa 6. Fast fast 6 and number C. He but he replied, There is not a jar left. Then the oil stopped flowing. Mwanaye akamjibu, vyoto vimejaa. Hapo mafuta yakakoma kutiririka. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. You are a limitation to yourself. Wewe ndio kizuizi chako wewe mwenyewe. God is not limited. Bwana Mungu hana kizuizi. Any limitation in your life. Kizuizi ambacho kiko katika maisha yako. You are the cause. Wewe ndio sababu. Any limitation in your success. Kizuizi chochote ambacho kiko katika kufanisi You are the cause. Wewe ndio chanzo. Why? Kwa nini? Why? Kwa nini? She was told to pour as many jars as possible. Aliambiwa aombe viombo vingi zaidi. But the moment she filled the last one. Lakini kama vile alijaza ile ya mwisho. The flow stopped. Mafuta yakakoma kutiririka. She was limited. Yeye mwenyewe ndiye alijizuia. She was limited. Yeye mwenyewe ndiye alijizuia. By the number of jars. Kwa sababu ya viombo ambavyo alikuwa nazo. Jars she had. Viombo ambavyo alikuwa nazo. You are your own limitation wewe ndio kizuizi chako wewe mwenyewe god is never limited bwana mungu hana mpaka his spirit is ever flowing roho wake anatiririka as miracles are ever 
ever evident. His miracles are ever flowing. You are a lamentation to yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What do I want to tell us today? Let us not limit God. Let us not limit ourselves. Let us walk in accordance to the word of God. Let us flow in the move and the direction of the Holy Spirit. The Bible tells me He will lead us into the ways of the Lord. And we will never stumble in the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God does not put limits Mungu haweki mipaka to our gifts kwa vipawa vyetu. But are praised by the people themselves. Lakini sisi wenyewe ndio tunaweka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you are little higher as no limit. Kwa hivyo ile mafuta yako kidogo hauna. Continue to increase as much as you are pouring it. Itaongezeka tu kama vile utaendelea kumwaga. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. So, kwa hivyo the instruction that was given to shut the door ya kwamba kufunga afunge mlango there is what i want to assure you hii ndio nataka ni kuhakikishie the moment that you shut yourself ya kwamba kama vile unajifungia it means inamaanisha you must meditate on the word of god la kwamba lazima utazamie neno la bwana you must pray lazima uombe you must seek in god lazima umtafute mungu bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe that is where you stay in the crusher hapo ndipo utakuwa umekufunga that is why you are pouring your little oil hapo ndipo unamwaga mafuta yako kidogo that is why you are waiting for the miracle hapo ndipo unangojea mujiza in your crosses ukiwa umejifungia ndio bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe praise the lord bwana asifiwe and after she was done wakati ambapo alimaliza she never left she never went away with a miracle hakwenda na muujiza she just you know the chairs are full vyombo vimejaa and the miracle has happened na muujiza umetendeka what next sasa ni nini let us go to the next verse wacha tuangalie ile mstari ambayo inafuata i'm almost winding up ninamalizia she went verse 7 she went and told the man of god and she said Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Alienda kumwambia nani? Mtumishi wa Mungu. Where did she did she go back to? Alienda wapi? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After she has gone after she has gotten the jars. Baada ya kupata She has yonko. gotten the oil. Amepata mafuta. What is the next step? Je, alifanya nini? She went. Alienda and told. Na akamwambia man of God. Mtumishi wa Mungu. And she said. Na akasema go sell oil and pay you and debt nenda ukauze hayo mafuta na ulipe madeni yako and you and your sons can live on what is left ndipo wewe na wanao mtaishi kwa kutumia hayo ambayo yatabaki my friend rafiki yangu don't be excited usikwe mtu wa kusisimka with a retro success kwa sababu ya kufanisi kidogo The day you stop pouring it. Wakati ambapo utaacha kumimina. The day your gift will die. Hapo ndipo kipawa chako kitakufa. The the, the woman kama huyu knew the secret. Alijua siri. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe. The secret of sustaining a miracle. Alijua ile siri ya kudumisha She mujiza. went to the servant of God again. Alienda kwa mtumishi wa Mungu mara tena. She reported the miracle. Na akamuelezea mujiza. And she was told. Na akaambiwa. Now that you've gotten the oil. Kwa sababu umepata mafuta. Go and sell. Nenda ukayauze. And get What? Na upate nini? You get money utapata pesa to pay your all your debts na utalipa madeni yako yote and you get surplus na wewe utabaki na nyingine that will keep you moving ambayo itakufanya wewe you wewe and your sons wewe na wanao what a great miracle muujiza mkubwa wa inabii bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe let me tell you what ni kuambia what makes our miracle to fly away kile ambacho kinafanya muujiza wetu kupotea is that we don't complete the ni, cycle ni kwa sababu hatumalizii ile duara we pray we go to the servant of god 
Tuna, tunaenda kwa mtumishi wa Mungu. We are prayed for. Tunaombewa. We are given instructions. Tunapatiwa maelezo. And we are blessed. Na tunabarikiwa. The moment you are blessed. Na wakati tunabarikiwa. And because you cross yourself in your house. Na kwa sababu ulikuwa umejifungia ndani ya chumba chako. The servant of God will never know. Mtumishi wa Mungu hatajua. What really happen? Kile ambacho kilitendeka. Through offers. Ukweli ama uongo. Even you are watching me there. Hata yule ambaye ananitazama. When you get the miracle. Unapopata muujiza. Don't forget the source. Usisahau chanzo chake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe. That is where the book of Mark is coming. Hii ndio sababu kitabu cha Chapter 3. Mlango wa 3. Try me in this. Jaribu, nijaribu kwa haya. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. By bringing the tithes and offer kwa kuleta zaka na sadaka into my house katika nyumba yangu bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe sasa we secure hivyo ndivyo ambavyo the miracles muujiza the blessings ile muujiza that you have received from ambayo Lord. umepokea kutoka kwa bwana bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe she went back to the servant of god alirudi kwa mtumishi wa mungu to report what has trial kumweleza kile ambacho kimetukia how many times do we let the men of god know what has happened in your life? Ni mara ngapi unarudi kwa mtumishi wa Mungu na umueleze kile ambacho kimetendeka katika maisha yako? Until one day I asked myself God. Hata siku moja nikajiuliza Mungu. What really happens? Ni nini kinatendeka? What what is really wrong? Ni nini ambacho hakieni? Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. But God encouraged me. Lakini Bwana Mungu akanitia nguvu. And he told me. Na akaniambia. You are doing for me. Wewe unafanya kwa ajili yangu. Continue doing it. Endelea kuja. Continue praying for them. Endelea kuwaombea. Continue blessing them. Endelea kuwabariki. Continue encourage you are doing it for me. But I want to encourage you. That every time you receive a miracle from the Lord, it's good to go to the house of God and tell God, this is what you've given unto me. This is what I've given unto you, God. And I bless your name. And by that, and by that, na kwa kutenda hivyo your miracles mujiza wako will never cease hautakoma praise the lord bwana asifiwe the woman huyu mwanamke became a business man alikuwa alikuwa mfanyabiashara overnight kwa usiku mmoja hai ndio praise the lord bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe maybe i beg to uh, to, to be collected na labda ninataka mnikosoe that the neighbors lakini majirani maybe they were to the want labda walienda say wakisema she has joined the illuminati group ameingia katika kikundi cha illuminati i want to thank god lakini nataka kushukuru mungu the only one who bears us testimony yule ambaye ako na ushuhuda wetu is the worker of the miracle ni yule ambaye anatupatia muujiza jehova jehova mungu the bible tells me biblia inaniambia jehova jire ni jehova jire jehova jire jehova mtualizi the bible tells me in, in, in psalms 23 biblia inaniambia katika zaburi 23 ya kwamba ataniongoza pastures ataniongoza katika still waters na katika maji matumbu what are those hayo ni nini abundance of life hayo ni nini abundance in life utele katika maisha praise be to god bwana asifiwe abundance in life utele katika maisha and the devil na shetani has no authority hana mamlaka of what the lord has given me juu ya kile ambacho bwana mungu amenipatia kile ambacho bwana mungu amenibariki nacho i have nacho. a authority mimi niko na mamlaka in, the, in, in accordance to the word of god kulingana na neno la mungu to make my blessings be sustained Ya kwamba kufanya baraka zangu ziwe kamili. Every time I go to the word of God. Kwa sababu kila wakati ninaenda katika neno la Mungu. And meditate on what the Lord is saying. Na nitafakari kile ambacho Mungu anasema. And believe on what God is saying. Na ninaamini kile ambacho Mungu anasema. And I'm blessed. And nabarikiwa. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. The woman's lifestyle Maisha ya huyu mwanamke changed ilibadilika after sharing the oil baada ya kuuza haya mafuta the itro i am gave a business ile mafuta kidogo ilimpatia biashara your miracle is within you mujiza wako uko tu karibu na wewe it's in your house iko anyway. katika nyumba yako praise the lord bwana asifiwe there is something you can do to activate your miracle. Kuna kitu ambacho unaweza fanya kuchochea mujiza wako. You must. And this one I say with a capital must. Ninasema kwa herufi kubwa ni lazima. You must. 
ni lazima release your retro oil wachilie mafuta yako kidogo i challenge you today ninakutia changamoto leo doesn't matter the challenges haijalishi ile changamoto ambayo unapitia doesn't matter where they have fixed you haijalishi ni wapi wamekuleta doesn't matter what names they are calling you haijalishi ni majina yapi wanakuita you can fix your problem unaweza ukatengeneza shida by pouring your retro oil kwa kumwaga hiyo mafuta yako kidogo it's assessing your retro faith kwa kufanyisha haja yako kidogo it's assessing your will you know your confidence in god kwa kufanya yasha imani yako katika mungu hallelujah hallelujah i want to tell you nataka nikwambie your situation ya kwamba hali yako is not permanent haiti ya kudumu ndio What you are going through today is not permanent. It's not permanent. Just for a moment. Gojea tu. Just release that little oil. Achilia tu hiyo mafuta kidogo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And see now what, what God can do in your life. Kile ambacho Bwana Mungu anaweza katenda kwa maisha yako. Bwana asifiwe. And the summary of all, all of all these things. Na itimisha haya mambo yote. Is release ni ya kwamba achilie your little oil hiyo mafuta yako kidogo it will transform you itabadilisha from retro to much itakubadilisha kutoka kidogo hallelujah hallelujah it will restore you and grow itarejesha utukufu wako kutoka kwa kidogo hadi kwa wingi it will you know it will release your favor itaachilia kibali kutoka kwa kidogo hadi kwa wingi ndio bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe favor with god kibali na Mungu and favor with the man na kibali na wanadamu are you ready to release je uko tayari kuachilia are you ready to release je uko tayari kuachilia bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe i have spoken as a servant of god imenena kama mtumishi wa Mungu even as arai elisha spoke to this woman elisha alimnenea huyu mwanamke i have fulfilled the word of god na kwamba nimekamilisha neno la Mungu he commanded to come and tell you ya kwamba aliniamrisha nikuje achilia mafuta yako kidogo release your retro faith achilia imani yako kidogo release your retro strength achilia nguvu yako kidogo release your retro Achilia kipawa yako hiyo kidogo. It will transform you. Na itakubadilisha. Your life will change. Maisha yako yatabadilika. From retro kutoka kwa ile kidogo to much. hadi kwa wingi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe. People will give a testimony about you. Watu watatoa ushuhuda kuhusu. People will give a testimony about your family. Watu watatoa ushuhuda kuhusu family. People will give a testimony about your business. Watu watatoa ushuhuda kuhusu biashara yako. And everyone will be your right to be associated with you. Na kila mtu atataka kuunganika na wewe kwa sababu you will be successful. Utakuwa umefanisi. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to rise on our feet. Nataka tuinuke kwa miguu yetu. I want to rise on our feet. Nataka tuinuke kwa miguu yetu. And even those who are watching us today. Na hata wale ambao wanatutazama leo. I want to tell you. Nataka niwaambie. Team up with us today. Na kwamba unganika pamoja na sisi. Join our faith today. Unganika na imani yetu leo. God is not too God is not limited. Na kwamba Bwana Mungu hana mipaka. God is not limited. Bwana Mungu hana vizuizi. Whatever you release. Kile ambacho anasema. Whatever you release. Kile ambacho anaachilia. Whether retro your faith. Ukiwa na imani yetu kwamba yeye ndio daktari yeye ndio mpenyaji wetu yeye ndio sabala yeye anaponya maisha yetu yeye sawa spara anaponya mioyo yetu bwana mungu yes wala apo yeye ana uwezo to heal ya kuponya our sicknesses magonjwa yetu to heal kuponya how and discouragement kushushika kwetu to heal kuponya how and disappointment kushushika kwetu they have disappointed you three times mara mingi sana wamekushusha moyo the fourth time mara ya nne tena the son of the living god bwana Mwana the son of the living God will appear in that furnace. In the name of 